The inauguration of the 45th president is less than 24 hours away. And one local woman seems to be the belle of the ball. We check in now with Jennifer, News Channel 7's Jennifer Holton for an update on Arlene Borges' trip to the nation's capital. Jennifer? That's right. Arlene and I spent the night together last night. We went to the Florida Sunshine Ball. That was just one of the many balls in this town taking place throughout the week. But there she got to meet and greet several congressmen, several senators, really celebrities in this town. But it was actually Arlene who was the big celebrity of the night. I had a ball at the ball. Several balls. Yeah. 94-year-old Arlene Borges put on her dancing shoes for Florida's inaugural ball, the Sunshine State's dynamic inaugural week event hosted by the governor. The event was packed with young Washington, hungry for photos with some of D.C.'s most elite. But those men and women were too busy. They were taking pictures with Arlene. And I met so many congressmen and so many big wigs, and they all wanted to take pictures with me. And I just sat there and they took one picture right after another. Arlene even had some time to chat with her own congressman, Matt Gates. Hey, uh, we, we had a delightful ball last night, the Florida ball hosted by Governor Scott, and Arlene Borges was the star. Marco Rubio wanted to meet her, I got the chance to visit with her, and I just think it's so special that we're able to highlight the commitment of Northwest Floridians to a better country, a more prosperous society, and Arlene Borges is the perfect embodiment of that. After the photos, it was time for a little dancing. With the Beach Boys live in attendance, Arlene was happy to grab her cane and dance to their hit, Barbara Ann. Now with the inauguration tomorrow morning, Arlene is taking it easy tonight. She's going to be laying low, but I talked to her a little bit ago. She said she spent the afternoon getting her hair done, all dolled up for the big event tomorrow. Back to you. And we can't wait to see her there. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer will be at the inauguration tomorrow with Arlene and her family. Be sure to follow along using the hashtag ArleneGoesToDay.